Hi, this is George Weigel. Welcome to my Garden Tip of the Week series. Let's go see what's going on in the garden today. You know, one question I've been getting a lot in these last few weeks is everyone's been asking why their impatience are dying. And these are my impatience, one of the few, I think, remaining impatience that haven't died yet this year. We've been hit by this disease called downy mildew. And it's a disease that's hit all of a sudden and it's really fast spreading and deadly to impatience, uh, which is really sad because this is our number one selling annual flower. Everyone's got them. It's a great flower for the shade. And we've been using them for years and years and it's been one of the easiest plants to grow. But when this disease came along, uh, I'd say maybe in, toward uh, the middle part of August, some people started seeing them uh, kind of yellowing. The leaves would curl down and the flowers just weren't doing real well. In fact, the whole season they just weren't blooming like they should have been blooming. Uh, those are the early signs of this disease. But the telltale sign is just flip over a few leaves and you'll see this whitish coating underneath there. That's the spores of the uh, disease. That's a telltale sign. So if, if you see your impatience doing pretty poorly, flip them over and uh, that'll tell you you have it or not. The bad part of this disease is too, it overwinters, which means that it'll get into the soil. And if you try to plant impatiens next year, there's a very good chance they'll get the disease again. It affects all the bedding impatiens, the ones you buy in the four packs and the six packs. Uh, the only ones that uh, supposedly are resistant to it are the New Guinea impatiens, which are bigger and much more expensive. Uh, so it's going to be sad. We're going to all be looking at switching to some different uh, shade annuals until the breeders can develop some resistant varieties of impatiens or until better controls come along because there's really nothing a homeowner can do. There's no spray you can put on to save your impatiens. You can't even compost them. You really should just dig them, throw them away, and try something next year. So we'll talk about that later when it comes time. So in the meantime, see you next week on PennLive.com.